Jacoby. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jacoby from jacobysjourneys.com and today's a really exciting day. We're here in Nanning, Guangxi, China and today is one of the first days that they're actually releasing 5G uh, through China Telecom across China. So there's a number of cities, I think 30 or 40 cities, that today are officially kind of launching 5G. Uh, so we're going to be here taking a tour of some of the 5G devices that they have, different brands that are here, as well as uh, talking to some of the people here at China Telecom that are going to be explaining kind of the importance of this 5G technology and kind of the, the future of where it's going to be going here in China. So stay tuned. So again, we're in the city of Nanning, Guangxi, a city with about 7 million residents and a rapidly growing economy. China Telecom, as well as other telecommunication providers here in China, just officially launched 5G service in over 40 cities across the country. Globally, data speeds have been growing rapidly over the last several years, and now the greatest leap of all, launching into a 5G world. But you may be asking, so what kind of data speeds or other benefits are we talking about with this 5G technology? Well, the applications of 5G tech are far more important than just having autonomous cars and doing yoga with your robot dog, as cool as that is. All right, so we're here at China Telecom and we're gonna test out some of their VR headsets. So they, I believe they have several different models. So this one is called a Pico. They also have some different sensors that you can put on top. And then you also have ones that you can hold in your hands. So when you're doing the different VR, playing the games or different activities, you know, you can actually see your hands in the video. Basically little joysticks, little controllers. So you put the strap on so you don't drop it. And then it has just a ton of sensors all the way around this. So a ton of different sensors on this that's gonna be able to communicate and show where your hands are. So he's getting a boxing game set up right now. So we're gonna get a, he's gonna get it set up on the VR, then set up on the television so that way we can see. So we can see what, uh, what I'll be playing. All right, so we've got the boxing game set up. Uh -oh, I'm getting beat up. Yeah, he's beginning. Okay. Okay, here we go. How do I move forward? Did I walk? Oh! Oh, I haven't started yet. I'm not gonna hit anybody, right? <laughs> Oh man. This is the first time I've ever tried VR. Actually, I did a shooting game once. He killed me. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, it's really cool. It's, it's, hard, it's a lot harder than I expected. Yeah, so it's really cool. It's a really fast reaction. I'm not a good boxer, so I totally, he, he killed me pretty fast. All right, so I brought my friend Donnie here. He's, he works for a local tech company here in Nanang. So I thought I could ask him some questions about 5G and he's pretty well educated in it. So I appreciate it. Thanks for coming and answering some questions. Why do you think that 5G is so important here in China? The technology of 5G network has three typical uh, application scenarios. The first uh, scenario is you can use the faster speed of the network and the second application scenario, we call it URLLC, which means Mutual Reliable Low Latency Communication. Mm. This scenario is for industry, for example, intelligent driving, some transportation and intelligent manufacturing, uh, some medical application and so on. And the second application scenario, we call it EMTC, mm. which means Extra Massive Type Communication. Uh, under 4G network, uh, just a mobile phone to connect the network. But under 5G network, your uh, TV and your refrigerator and your air conditioner and in the factory, a lot of machines can connect the, net the network. In 4G technology, uh, in one square kilometers, just uh, thousands of things can connect the network. But under 5G network, millions of machines can connect the 5G network in one square kilometers. Yeah. So these three typical fiction that can uh, change the society, not just normal people's life. So 5G network is very important for the society, for the world. But using 5G isn't quite as simple as just flipping on a 5G switch on all your devices. Not only will you need to purchase new 5G capable products, we're talking about a necessary upgrade to 5G capable small cell towers that will provide these higher speeds 
as well as beamforming anywhere 5G is required. But because of the limited range with the current 5G small cell designs, we need to install a lot more of them compared to the current 4G cell towers we're using. When it comes to these issues, China is definitely excelling compared to other countries and has outspent the U.S. by over $24 billion since 2015 on 5G infrastructure. So now we're watching this video on the, this is the is it Huawei? What was this? It's Huawei. Huawei. Yes. Uh, this is a 5G phone. Yeah. And we're watching a 4K video right now. On the camera, maybe you won't be able to really see this, but when we're looking on the phone, yeah, it's nice and sharp. Um, and again, this is using 5G, so it's gonna be, it's gonna load the video in a matter of a second. It's really fast loading time. So now we're opening up a, some, a game on this Huawei. So we're loading up a racing game right now. And again, using 5G is gonna make this so you can play it really fast. You can have a lot of people all on one game. It's gonna, it's gonna eliminate lag time. I remember my first time driving. All right, Donnie, so it's my understanding that only a couple different companies in the, in the world are actually making these 5G chips. I mean, is that true? Could you tell us a little bit about that? If a phone can use the 5G network uh, because of the chip of the mobile phone, the chip of the mobile phone, we call it SOC, S-O-C. That means the system of the chip. Uh, uh, some company, some mobile phone company can make the SOC, but in the SOC, it has a, a 5G module has the 5G module, the chip can use the 5G network. Uh, there are only two companies nowadays can make the 5G module in the world. That is Chinese Huawei and American Qualicom. Samsung can make the stock of the mobile phone, but the 5G module in the chip, it's by uh, for the Qualicom. Right now in China, do you know what, what kind of devices are available? Is there a lot or just a few? What do you think? There are some company has their own 5G device, just like Huawei and ZTE and Oppo, Xiaomi and so on. All right, so let's say I have an iPhone or one of the other many phones in the US that are, are not making uh, 5G technology yet. Yep. Um, can my iPhone uh, six, seven, eight, nine, you know, something that's using 4G, can I still use 5G? We have a equipment, we call it CPE. This equipment can uh, use the 5G signal and it can transmit the 5G signal to Wi-Fi signal. And your mobile phone uh, without 5G function, you can use the CPE's Wi-Fi signal to connect the 5G network and use the faster 5G network. Why is 5G important or what, what's some really good benefits that 5G will bring to China? Maybe I would find you the, for the young people say as the interesting because 5G is very quick and very clear. Mm. We know to play the game, to look the movie. And China Telecom is leading, probably leading the world yeah. in 5G, right? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Uh, I think we want to welcome to very much the friends come for here to try the 5G. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it's again, it's an exciting today. Today is an important day here in China because we were talking about earlier, today is kind of the first official day that they're releasing 5G all around China. So 40 cities across yeah. China and China Telecom is yeah. it's going to keep speeding up, opening yeah. in more cities, yeah. uh, more devices. Like right now we're looking at these devices behind more us. More and more the mobile yeah. phone to here for the company, yeah. for the our the person. China Telecom, hello, hello 5G. 5G. Uh, hopefully this answers your questions and you could also let us know down below if uh, you know what do you think about what we talked about if there's anything you disagree with if there's any questions you have let me know down below then maybe I could ask Donnie at a, a later time if I get a chance all right so as you can see there's a lot of cool technology a lot of advancements that's going on with this 5g and it's gonna just start snowballing and, and growing even faster over the next coming months or year and again it, it's not limited to cell phones I think a lot of people have this mindset I can watch YouTube videos faster I can play games faster yes that's all true but there's so many more applications for this you know we're talking stuff like medical transportation uh, 
communication, obviously. Doctors being able to be on one side of the country or one side of the world and operating robotically on somebody on the other side of the world. You know, we're talking about robotics, artificial intelligence. I mean, so many applications with this 5G technology. So I really hope that other countries, other places are going to be speeding up this 5G research. It's really exciting times that we're in. So what do you think? You know, leave some comments down below. What's your view about 5G? Is it dangerous? You know, there's a lot of questions about the potential health risks of 5G technology. You know, as far as I've read, what I've been researching, it, there's no real evidence that it is dangerous. But what do you think? You know, leave some comments down below. If you've liked this video, please give it a like, share. I appreciate it. Hit subscribe if you haven't. I upload new adventure travel videos every week. And remember, life's about the journey, not just the destination.